Hi, and welcome back to a, another video of me in the middle of nowhere. Um, this time I'm somewhere called Dolphwyn Castle. Uh, it's only about an hour outside of Shrewsbury. Um, been walking for probably the past 10 minutes from down there. All of it uphill. Me in the wrong shoes, uh, as per normal. Something I'm not doing right. Um, but yeah, it's a nice place. Everything's green, as you can tell. Absolutely beautiful views. Honestly, this place is like, I don't know, I keep going to these places and it's just, the views just keep getting better and better. I think that's just Wales in general, to be fair. Uh, it's very slippy. I have slipped over almost again, just like my other video, almost breaking my neck. This is probably going to be a compilation of me slipping over and doing all that at some point. But it's at the top of a hill. There's not much left of this castle. So it's just like the foundational work. So we're gonna go up there, I'm gonna get the drone because the weather's actually pretty decent. It's not, not much wind, which is nice. So I'm gonna get the drone up, fly it around, look at some incredible views, check out the castle. I'll do some voiceover work. And yeah, it should be a pretty decent video. Um, by the time I get up there, I'll probably be very out of breath. So if I'm filming, it'll probably be me just with a lot of heavy breathing. As, yeah, it's like, all uphill and the first bit's the worst bit it's so steep it's ridiculous so i'll see you when we get closer to the top golf wing castles parking is small really small in fact you can get approximately four to five cars so not much i would recommend getting there early just so you know you have a good spot the hill to the castle is steep so some good shoes are advised i did not have good shoes and slipped a lot as per normal. When you come up the hill, you will see this sign. It's very small. You'll probably miss it. We almost did. I'll take you straight there. So when you get there, go right. We're uh, coming up to the castle, but for some reason, it's raining and it's sunny at the exact same time, which, <sighs> no, no, it shouldn't do that. But it is, typical UK. As you come up the bank, you can't exactly miss it. As you can see, it's there. And there's an information board there. And there's incredible views. Don't be sick, don't be sick. As you can see, look at that. These places always amaze me that they build these massive castles on top of these hills. And to think that they actually had to move all this material at some point to the tops of these. Like the sheer effort that was put in would be absolutely like mind blowing. <clears throat> and then like what, in the 12th century when this was built? They were bringing all this stone up to build it and have it as a house, a defence, somewhere to stay. And then now we come here to just look at its ruins, doing the same walks, the same paths, but just seeing it in its ruined state. How times change. Information board. Okay. Nice. Built in 1273 by Llewellyn Griffith, the last sovereign prince of Wales, Dolphwyn Castle was more than just a fortress. It was a statement of resistance against the encroaching English forces led by King Edward I. More information boards. So he fell over. He's got a bad back. He's got a headache. He's hurt his ankle and he's diving backwards. So don't do any of that. Not worth it. We're at, oh God, hang on, oh shit. Where are you? So as I mentioned, there's not actually that much. It's a lot of foundations, lower part to the wall, nothing too much. Swellen the last, determined to defend his realm, commissioned the construction of Dolphwyn Castle, 
positioned strategically to oversee the Severn Valley. The castle was intended to assert Welsh dominance and secure the borders against English invasion. Oh, shit. God, it's narrow, that. Bit of an information board. Always a handy bit of kit to have. But it's very quiet. It's literally just us. I think it's in a very secluded place, to be fair. Rooms are pretty big as well. Look at this. Big old room, this. So I did see online when I was doing a bit of research about this place, they've actually got the plaques on the walls showing what room's what. Um, I don't say I haven't seen one yet, but there's a couple here. Here you go, look. He's diving backwards. Castle gateway. Even though there's not much left, it's still pretty impressive. Hey, look, stairs. In March 1277, the inevitable siege began. Roger Mortimer, a formidable English commander, led the assault on Dolphwyn. The Welsh defenders, though outnumbered, were resolute. Dolphin was, however, taken by Roger Mortimer after a fortnight of severe battles and many deaths, but the castle was given to the Mortimers, a powerful marcher family. The castle was kept in repair for many years, but was ruinous by 1398. It's, uh, it's a little bit windy, but as you can tell, Jesus, on cue. Um, but there's actually more to this place than I thought actually. It's, like, it's actually really, you know, it's pretty big. There's like loads to it. And there's some signs which my lovely girlfriend has just pointed out that you can follow the um, path of Swellin the Great, which was like the first Prince of Wales. And it goes from this one to Montgomery Tower, which I'll put a link in the video, to Abbey Coombe, which I haven't done yet. So there's like, it says like it's a, a trail you can follow, which I might end up looking doing that. So I, I only need to do the one and then I've collected them all, really. Gotta catch them all. And uh, so yeah, be this one, the Montgomery Tower and Abbey Coombe, and then we'll have all three. It's just like, I don't know, is it a dungeon? Who knows? Zoom out. I don't know what it is. It's like a, a moat. Why can I go down here? I don't know. I'm going. I'm. <sighs> this is an old tower. It's very windy. I want to get the drone out, but I imagine the drone's just gonna. I'll get the drone out and it'll just do it, so it'll just fuck off and end up in a tree somewhere. Look at these steps. Imagine you brought your dog here. Dolphwing Castle may lie in ruins, but its story lives on in the hearts and minds of those who cherish the rich history of Wales. It stands as a symbol of courage, resilience, and the undying spirit of the people who fought for their land and their freedom. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through time, exploring the legacy of Dolphwyn Castle. Remember, history is not just about the past, it shapes who we are and guides us towards the future. Check out my other videos for more historical adventures and let me know in the comments which stories you'd like me to cover next. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Dolphwyn Castle. If you found this video inspiring or informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who love history. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more captivating stories from history and beyond. Until next time, remember to keep exploring, keep learning, and keep the spirit of history alive.